Quilters. Welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Hey, thanks so much for joining us on this Wednesday afternoon. My good friend Christine is in the house. How are you, dear? I'm doing just fine. How are you? Good. What'd you do this week? Not a darn thing, Pam. Just work? <laughs> it was so hot. It, it was, was so, so hot. hot. And this weekend, so I was like, I'm just going to stay in the house and read a book. Yeah. Start a new project and all that Hundreds, stuff. 106 or something yes, on Thursday of last week. It was just terrible. <laughs> do you know what I did? You'd mm. be so proud. What'd you do? I organized my stash. Okay. I like the way that sounds. I know. And back in the day, in my quilting head, I thought my stash was not so big. Mm -hmm. That is not a true statement. <laughs> that is not a true statement. In fact, um, I had yardage in one tote and then just scraps in the totes. other. Totes. Oh, my totes. goodness. You hear that word, totes. <laughs> so, but it was very great, and I felt like it was wonderful. Good. And I found a huge stack of grunge. There you so. go, that you didn't even remember you had, probably. Probably so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where is everybody watching from today? Let's see. Um... Oh, Pat wants my shirt. Everybody does. Isn't it super cool? It has flamingos <laughs> on it, Pat. Good job. Um, Elk City, Oklahoma. Um, we have Willow from New York. Who are you seeing, folks? I'm seeing uh, Oregon. I saw Amarillo, Texas a minute ago. Carol from Las Cruces. I have been there. It's beautiful there. I went in the wintertime where it was like, I don't know, 27 below in Omaha, and it was 67 in Las Cruces, <laughs> and I it made them bring me dinner on the patio of there the restaurant. Go. Yeah, it's all um, good. Crystal says, now that you've organized your stash, you'll never be able to find anything. <laughs> I actually, and okay, so let's talk about that for a second. I actually organized it by color put them in um, those big, huge Ziploc bags okay. by color. Yeah. Super excited about it. There we go. Yeah. I love that. So when I'm looking for yellow, and then I have two huge big bags of just prints. Okay. So, yeah. There you go. Because here's why. I was looking to make a project. In fact, it was for work, and I was looking through all this stuff, and I couldn't find yellow, and I was like, I think I have yellow. And so I thought, while I oh. sit here. Awesome. I watched much TV while yeah. I did it. Yeah. What'd you watch? Uh, Netflix. Criminal Minds is what I'm watching. There you now. go. Always a good choice. Always a good show, starting from the very season one, because <laughs> I've watched all the other shows. So, all right. All right. Did you love the projects in our interview intro video? Let's take a look at a couple. First up, okay, do you love this one, Christina? I do. This is super cute. So this is Tammy W., and she used our churn dash die. And I love that it's just completely scrappy. Yes, but it feels very like rainbowy, perfect for June. It does, very summery, yes. You could turn those turn dash on their side and use our setting triangles. Ooh, love I that. I know, there's a die for that now. Okay, next up is a project after my own heart. Did you see this one, I Christina? I did, Halloween. Okay, it's Halloween fabric. And I think she used the spider web die, yes? I believe so, yes. Yes, and then the, um, we have a Halloween medley die with mm -hmm. the cat and the bats and the whole. Oh, I guess it's called cat and bat. Yeah, there's Never cat mind. and bat, and then there's Halloween medley. We there's have two. Both. I have both of those dies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and finally, we have this super cute flamingo project by Joyce C. So cute. Look at their cute little flamingos kissing. I love it. Okay, and it's so appropriate for today because yesterday we just re released the Go Flamingo die. Yes. So now it is part of our permanent collection. Yep, he's here to stay. AccuQuilt. Yes, it's amazing. It's part of our permanent collection now at AccuQuilt. So in honor of National Flamingo Day, today is National Flamingo Day, we are going to make this super cute. We have so many super cute things. Hold on. Little fun small quilt. So cute. Isn't this so fun? <laughs> okay, who made this for us? Oh, Missy Shepler did. And um, Timeless Treasures gave us the fabric. So Missy, great job in creating our project. All right. And not only are we going to make a super cute project, but we are going to announce the name of the newest member of the AccuQuilt family. One of you viewers chose the cutest name for our flamingo, and you're going to have huge bragging rights. Okay, so did we show our picture of the day? Not yet. Okay, is it coming? Yes. Oh, good. If you have... I don't know. If you haven't adopted your own flamingo die yet, we are extending the awesome bundles from yesterday. Okay, just for our AccuQuilt Live family. So first up is the Go Flamingo die bundle that includes that cute little adorable die and a cutting mat. It's $59.99 today. Yep. Okay, but this is truly the bundle you want to get. It is the Paradise die bundle. Okay, Go Flamingo Paradise. It includes three dies. 
the Go Flamingo Dye, the Go Sea Life Medley, which is great. It has the crab and the fish and the starfish and the seahorse. And the Go Summer Medley Dye, which has flippy flops and a pail and a shovel. Now, all three of those dyes today, $149.99, that is a savings of $53. What's the value of the embroidery file for that? Do you remember, Christina? Ooh. It's like $67. Yeah, something like that. Since all those are applique, they've all yes. got individual, yeah. Yeah, make sure you grab them today while they are in sale. That sale ends at midnight, right, Central yes. Time? Yes, yep, you got it. All right, now check out the quilt behind Christina. This is our Go, our Go Storm at Sea Life Medley Throw Quilt. Okay, first of all, Storm at Sea, one of my all-time favorite dyes, top five. And look how we use that cute little um, Sea Life medley. Yes. Our pattern was designed by Reed Johnson of Blue Bear Quilts. Yeah. Now, that Storm at Sea dye is on sale so much today. Mm -hmm. Yep. We'll talk about it here yes. in a minute. Okay. Everything is so on sale on our website right now. So on sale. We have so many things on sale. <laughs> okay, here's the photo of the day. This is it. This is her. This is our flamingo. And just to let you know, um, she w is part of the Omaha, Nebraska um, Henry Dorley Zoo. But did you know this, Christina? We had to ship the eggs away because oh. the aviary where she's going to live mm -hmm. is under construction. Oh, okay. That makes so sense. So she was born in some other place, but she belongs to Omaha. So soon, flocks of flamingos yes, will be coming back to the aviary. And I think we should take a field trip. I agree. I yeah. will never turn down a chance to go to the zoo. Joe, we're gonna make <laughs> it happen. Okay, so here's my question of the day. What is your favorite pink thing? Okay, first of all, pink grunge, number one on my huge list. <laughs> okay, followed by pink lemonade. Ooh. It is truly one of my favorite drinks. That's what, a good are, one. what is your favorite pink oh, thing? Oh, honestly, probably that flamingo. She's so cute. So cute. Like, I can't, I know she's not, like, super pink yet, but I know she will be. She will be super pink. I know. I know. I feel like we should, I feel like we should make a big birth announcement and place it out. Our friends at AccuCut can make us a sign. That would be so and cute. And put it outside the fence thing. <laughs> okay? All right. So today, be sure and download the Go Flamingo Party Small Quilt Pattern. It is a free pattern at AccuQuilt.com. And it also has that free embroidery file for our cute flamingo, a $21 value. So all sorts of fun things today. All right, now, Christina is going to explain the promo. Yes, so we extended our AccuQuilt Days deals yes. on our website. So just about, I think everything is on sale. So yes. today, when you use the code PINK10, you take an extra 10% off. So that's up to 41% off dyes, cubes, accessories, and up to 32% off cutters. Oh, wow. So it's so on sale. <laughs> so on sale, and that sale ends at midnight tonight. Correct. Right? The Accuquilt days will keep going, but you right. only get that extra 10% off today. Yeah, so while you can get 10 extra percent off, you yeah. should. Heck yeah. Okay, and then talk about the promo for the pickle dish, because the pickle dishes are dyed to try for this yes. month of June. So that one is also marked down. It's not included in the pink 10, but it's already marked down even more. Excellent. Yes, so it's one ninety four ninety eight. so that's a savings of $65. Get you a pickle so dish dye. That was, that was one of my favorite new dyes. It's beautiful. Do you like it? Yeah, it's beautiful. I love the kind of squish double wedding ring look. Like, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, you can make it all sorts of stuff. And it's limited edition, so you got to get it while you can. Limited edition at the end of June, it goes away. All right, we are giving away a Go Flamingo dye to one lucky viewer, so be sure mm -hmm. and share your, our video in your personal Facebook page for a chance to win. All right, quilters, this pattern uses the Go 4-inch cube mix and match block system and the companion angles. Now, you could use other sizes of cubes. You just need to adjust the fabric requirements, okay? So, Christina, the Flamingo fits great on the 9, 10, mm -hmm. and 12-inch cubes and companion set angles, so give us a price on the 9, 10, and 12-inch yes. cubes because everything is on yes. sale. Yes, so your 9-inch mix and match cube is only 148 and then the companion set angles is $87. Oh, that's so great. It's so on sale. And then your 10 and 12 are the same price. Right. So they're 188 for the mix and match and then 114 for the companion set. And those will all ship free to you today. Yep. Free shipping in the contiguous US, no code required. No code required. And no just minimum. You just, anything. Anything today is yep. shipping free? Yep. So our flamingos are gonna ship free. Get yep. that bundle with all the paradise. Yes, definitely. We should all live a little bit in paradise. Okay. So we're going to cut some pieces because that's what we do. 
Um, but before we do that, let's take a look at our cube and our companion set, okay? So first we have the four inch cube. Now remember quilters, the shapes are the same in every cube, they're just different sizes, okay? So I'm gonna open it up just like this. And we're gonna pull the skinny one first, how come, Christina? So you don't break a nail. So you don't break a fingernail, that's exactly right. Inside we have a pattern book and a cutting mat. So I'm gonna pull this mat out because I'm gonna need it for my dies, okay? Next, we have the first four shapes, all right? So the thing to remember about the cube system is that it is based on a four patch system, okay? Shape number one in every cube is a square. Look at this tiny little square. So tiny. Okay? Four of them sewn together makes a four inch finished block. I can't even get my fingers, my fingers are too big to fit on the little shapes, okay? So everything in the cube, when we put those shapes together, are gonna come back to equal shape number one, mm -hmm. which is super tiny, okay? So shape number two in every cube, look at these, are smaller squares. And Christina, do you know how big these finish to? Oh, I don't. One inch. One inch, oh my goodness. One inch, so <laughs> here's a so block. Tiny. Here's a block, you can see this little one inch square right here. If you ever think you have scraps that are too small to use, I think the four inch cube defies that. I think so too, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, just a great way to use up your scraps. Okay, shape number three, my all time very favorite shape. Now remember, all of our shapes have that quarter inch seam allowance built in, okay? Shape number three is half square triangles. And what's cool about it is we've cut off the notches so from this point here to this point here is a perfect quarter inch seam. So look how we've made this pinwheel block. Look how fun that is. I love that. And I just love the four inch cube. I wasn't really sure about it. Mm -hmm. And then we got it and I'm pretty sure about it now. <laughs> okay, so next are quarter square triangles. So four of these sewn together equals that shape number one, right? that little two inch block, all right? And then we're gonna sew them together to equal a four inch block because it's the four inch cube, all right? So those are the first four shapes. Remember, all the cubes, the same shape, different sizes, okay? And look, Joe had them all nice and neat, so I can just pull them right out. Okay, this is my favorite one. <laughs> These are half square triangles. Okay, so let me show you what they look like. Um, they're gonna fit. Look, there are two, four, six, eight of them on the die board. So these tiny little white half square triangles, this is shape number five. Look at how tiny those are. So tiny. They're so cute, and this is perfect for a mini quilt. But remember quilters, you could use the six, eight, nine, 10, 12 inch yes. cubes, whatever size you If that want. four inch is too small for you, all the other ones are on sale, so yes. might as well pick them up today. Might as well. Shape number six in every cube are square on point. So um, we've turned it so they live on its tippy toes. So here's a sample right here of a square on point, okay? I know, you have to look for it. So here's those shape fives, and then there's that shape six. Okay, the lovely Erica made these samples. She had way too much fun doing it. Okay, the next sample, oh, I gotta pull it out, are parallelograms. Okay, Christina, we talk about this all the time. You've never cut them by hand, right? No, heck no, Pam, I've never no. cut a quilt shape by hand. No, never. <laughs> no, they've all been, I've made, gosh, what, maybe six or seven? Yeah and they've all been AccuQuilt cut. Yeah, they're just perfect. <laughs> so when you sew together, you're gonna use shape number five, and it's gonna make this um, rectangle. And so shape number eight in every cube are rectangles, four on this die board. Okay, so I need two shapes from this, and then we're gonna talk about our companion set angles. So let me pull them out real quick here. I thought I was being so efficient. All right, Christina, what do people love that are pink? Um, Gerald loves strawberry milkshakes. Oh, there you go, Joe, just love. for you. Um, let's see, Anne says pink puffy dresses for new baby girls. Oh, which is that's so cute. very fun. I love that. Um, Morgan said her pink high heels. She's got fluffy pink high heels. Of course Morgan does. <laughs> of course she does. 
Oh, Kim says pink champagne. Oh, there you go. Jeannie says cotton candy. Yes. <gasps> cotton candy. <laughs> oh, I haven't thought about that. Okay. All right, so from the, shapes, the cube, I need shapes one and three. Okay, so remember the shapes are the same in every cube, they're just different sizes. Yes. Now from the companion set angles, I'm gonna need some additional shapes. So angles, um, we have two companions, corners and angles. They ha have four shapes instead of the eight, but you need that original cube to make them work, okay? And they have to be in the same size. So this is the four inch companion angles. All right, so it goes with the four inch cube. It's not like your friends in real life that are different sizes, okay? <laughs> they just can't hang in the same party together, okay? So I'm gonna open this up. We're gonna pull the skinny one first, why? So you don't break a nail. So we don't break a nail, okay? Now, in here, I'm gonna move all of my pieces here. Thank you, I'm good. I have magic hands that are sitting right over there that can help, okay. So this is our first shape. This is an equal, or this is an isosceles triangle, okay? And then the shape that goes around it are half rectangles, okay? This makes the shape, do you know, Christina? Triangle in a square. Yes, triangle in a square. Yeah, this is one um, that you can use. It gives that illusion of motion, mm -hmm. even though you're only sewing straight seams, okay? And next is the kite shape. So here's, look at this. I do love the kite. Kite is so fun. So this is the um, kite shape right here. And then this is that shape 13 to make this fun block. Oh, there we go. Or you could use this with the half rectangles to make the kite shape. Look how fun that is. Look, looks like pink lemonade. Okay, shape number 16. Is the shape we need. Do you know what shape this is, Christina? Uh, trapezoid, right? Trapezoid, okay. And this is the block that it can make, which is actually the block we're gonna make in the pattern. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this one out as well. All right, so don't forget quilters, all sorts of things, right? You can, um, all sorts of things on sale right now and yes. all sorts of Promos. And right. I did want to clarify that Flamingo is not part of the sale, but it's already marked down with that bundle. So you're already oh. saving money on that one. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, don't forget quilters, with our AccuQuilt cutters and dies, you can always cut six layers of quilting cotton in just one pass through the cutter. This process is 90% faster than using rotary cutters or scissors. Every time you're gonna get accurate cuts, cuts. you're gonna get thousands of cuts out of our dies and hundreds of cuts out of our cutting mats. So flip and turn and flip and turn our mats, okay? Now, the four, six, eight, and nine inch cubes are on a six by six die board, which means they will fit in all of our Go cutters, including the Go Me, the Go, the Go Big, and a studio cutter with the appropriate adapter. So today I'm using my Go. Christine, I assume it's on sale today. Ooh, yes, let me get that price for you. Okay. So look, lightweight, portable, I can open it just like this. I gotta move my gnome mug. <laughs> That's such a One cute One day mug. we're gonna have mugs that say fun things. Like hashtag there's a die for that. The Ready, Set, Go is 314. 314, mm -hmm. we're gonna ship it to you free. Yes, definitely. Okay? All right, so the first thing I'm gonna cut, um, so Joe, can I have an overhead here for just a second? So I've already made my centers. And I really wanted them to be different colors. This is the cool thing about this project is that those centers, I mean, you can make them all pink if you wanted to, you can make them hot pink if you want them to, okay? Um, I wanted them to all be different. So I need trapezoids, so right here. So for the outside of the block, ooh, here, let me show you. Thank you, Mike. Look at how cute this is. I love this one okay, so much. Okay, so here's the center. For a hot minute, I thought I might use pink grunge. Oh. I know, because I found <laughs> plenty of it. But um, in fact, pink was the number one fabric color that I had in oh, my wow. stash, which is odd since I have only boys, but I do have a granddaughter, Oakley. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna make these four blocks, okay? And we're gonna cut out the shapes for these four blocks and these eight 
squares. In your quilting head, you're gonna think it's gonna take a hot minute. It is not, it's gonna be so easy to do. Okay, so here's my trapezoid. So look at this. Lengthwise grain, nice and tight. I just need one tiny little piece, okay? So what I did was I measured from here to here. Now you could cut a whole strip if you wanted to, but truly you only need four. So you could just cut, cut it down so that it's like this, okay? All right, now I am going to put a cutting mat on top and run it through. We, will, we didn't cut a strip there, Justin, so you're good. Okay, now I'm gonna put it through my go cutter. Look how exhausting this is. <laughs> Need a nap after this? I probably, probably <laughs> for sure. Okay, static is built up because it is super steamy in here. So now look, okay, I cut my two trapezoids that fast, okay? And I also needed two pink ones. I could have cut them together, but I'd like to show you how to just lay that fabric on there. Notice we found that high and tight. All right, this is the lengthwise green. Why do we cut on the lengthwise green, Christina? So that you don't get any weird stretching or anything like that when you send it to the cutter. Yeah. yeah. All right, give it some love. Slide that mat, don't lift. And now I have two pink ones. All right, Christina, tell us what people are loving that are pink. Let's see, Linda says pink grapefruit lifesavers. Never in my life I have I had pink grapefruit lifesavers. Maybe I have. I don't know. I would like that. Um, let's see. Fancy says homemade strawberry cupcakes with strawberry frosting. I'm down for that. Linda said the bright pink hair my daughter's had for a while. I love that. <laughs> pink hair, that was real popular there for a little bit. Yeah. Oakley for a hot minute had unicorn hair. Ooh, there we go. You know, it was like pink and blue and green and yellow. It was just, you know, you could put it in and spray it and yeah. then wash it out. Um, Judy okay. says pink squirrels are her favorite. Pink squirrels? Yeah, like the cocktail. I would not know what that is. Oh. What is it? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but don't a know. good thing we're all here to know. <laughs> all right. I can Google it. <laughs> there we go. All right, so quilters ask me all the time, can using the AccuQuilt system save me time and fabric? Okay, think about how difficult it is to cut and to cut those trapezoids by hand or with a rotary cutter or scissors. AccuQuilt has over 70 applique dies to help you cut time and allow for so much more creativity. All right, so now let's cut half square triangles. Okay. Um, I need, oh, uh -oh. I'm missing a piece. It's okay. Look, I have more fabric. That surprises me. <laughs> I know. This morning <laughs> I said to Joe, I'm not sure why I have all this fabric, and now I know why. <laughs> I make step outs long before the shows, because otherwise, holy smokes. Okay, so I need pink. Look at all this cute pink fabric. Okay, and gray. Now, see, what did I do with my gray piece? It's right here. Okay, because I'm gonna cut them together. Oh, it's an ice cream alcoholic drink. An ice cream alcoholic yes. drink? The base is an almond flavored cream liqueur. Wow. Okay, that sounds fancy. It does sound fancy. Sounds like one of those fancy ones you drink like in a martini glass, like at the pool. Oh yeah. Be all fancy. So if I was <laughs> gonna have a virgin one, I'd just have a milkshake. There you go, perfect. <laughs> there we go. That's ideal as well. Okay, so look, <laughs> high and tight, lots of stretch. You want high and tight. I'm gonna cut all my half square triangles at once. Whew. Okay, again, you can just add a quarter of an inch to either side, right? Cut a width of fabric strip. If you were using our bigger cubes, I would tell you to do that. Like if you're gonna use the nine or 12 inch cube, measure side to side, cut a width of fabric. Okay, here we go. Slide, don't lift. Okay. Ooh, Jessie says pink champagne cupcakes are her favorite. Okay. I love that. Candace says, when I was a teenager, my twin sister and I shared a small room with pink walls and pink wallpaper. Love Forever it. you will remember that, right? <laughs> Okay, all right, so the last thing I need to cut are my squares, but I'm gonna show you this super cool trick, okay? Oof, we have more dies. <laughs> I'm not sure what just fell, but it was fine. <laughs> okay, just stay right there, Justin, you're good. Okay, so what I need are five and a half inch strips 
for the outside of the project, okay, because we're gonna subcut them with a rotary cutter, and I need to cut eight of our squares. So I measured from here to here, added a quarter of an inch, and so I'm just gonna cut five and a half inch strips, and then I can use some of them for my squares, and then others for the outside of the project. Sometimes think ahead, okay? This is why quilters, we tell you to download the uh, pattern and read all the instructions, okay? So I have two layers of fabric, or two with the fabric strips. Oh, here, let's talk about a strip die real quick. Five and a half inches, okay? It only has one section of five and a half. This is the exception to the lengthwise grain rule because Christina, when you cut strips, do you cut lengthwise grain? I don't know. No, you just cut with the fabric. Yeah, she just does what I tell I her to do. I just use the die. Yeah, she just uses the <laughs> die. And then these lines here to, are to cut diamonds at 30 and 45 and 60 degrees and 90 degrees squares, okay? In a couple of weeks, we're gonna show you a cool trick on how to use this. So what I've done is I've just cut with the fabric I'm gonna lay it out here so Joe can see it. We have so many pink things. It's so fun. All right. I grew up the only girl in my family and I have older brothers. There was nothing in our house that was pink. No. I know, see, feel sad. Okay. See, I had three older sisters and then an older brother. So he had nothing blue. <laughs> I can commiserate. Okay, so I lined up this fold with this black line. This is where the blades end, okay? So now I'm gonna put my mat on top. All of our strip dies will fit through our Go and our Go Big Fabric Cutters, okay? Da -da -da -da. I feel like there should always be accordion music that plays, <laughs> right, when I do this. And if you don't have that five and a half inch strip cutter, it's also on sale. How much is our five and a half inch So strip? when you use pink 10 and take that extra percentage off, it's $60. <sighs> okay, that means all of the strip dies are $60, mm -hmm. right? I think so. Because they're all the same price? I think so, except the, like, the smaller ones that fit through the go. Oh yeah, the so smaller ones. So 60 or less. 60 or less. Wow, okay, so today if I was buying dies, I would buy strip dies, okay? Strip dies and cubes. Strip dies and cubes. Yeah. Yeah. So the cubes are so And companion sale. sets, because I mean, they're going to ship to you free. Yeah. That nine inch companion set is only $87. It's awesome. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> okay. So now look, I have perfect five and a half inch strips. Don't lose my little pieces. This is what I found that is hard when you're doing this. Okay. So now, here are my four shapes. I need a total of eight. So look at this. I'm gonna put two layers on there. I'm a little cutting mat. Okay. We're gonna do this. Christina, what do people like in that are pink? Let's see. Um, Linda says her favorite pink thing would be toenail polish. Oh, there you go. I love that. Jeannie says she loves pink quartz. Oh, there. That's fun. I love that. I Let's love that. See. Okay. There's so many, I love this. A lot of people are saying cotton candy, which I love. That yeah. makes me so happy. Yeah, cotton candy, which, oh my gosh, in the summertime, it just melts on your yes. hands. And it's a mess, and it's uh -huh. the best. It's the best. <laughs> All right, don't forget to join Lynn and Eric and I on Tuesday, June 29th at 12 noon Central Time as we talk about how to mix and match your cubes. Register in the link below. Christina, why do they want to register? Because that's how they're entered for our giveaways. That is how they're entered. If you want to win stuff, you got to register. Yes. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put these over here. So now that all my pieces are cut, okay, truly you could have cut all those pieces in like three minutes. It's probably <laughs> taking me 20, okay? But we talk, so that's good, okay? And look at me, see? I Shape number five, this is why we pull it out. Thank you, Mike. We need a slew of them. I'm just going to cut a slew. Shape number five, trapezoid. Shape number three. Ooh, Sharon says, that was always my first question when we moved into a new house growing up was, could I paint my room pink, please? Wow. <laughs> I've never had a pink room. I wonder what Ray would say. My mother's favorite color is a really light peach color, so it almost looks pink. Yes. So her kitchen is that color. Oh, that's nice. Okay, there you go. 
All right. Not that we need help with this, but they say if you have an orange kitchen, people will eat in it. Oh, okay. It's, we never have that problem at our house. <laughs> okay, so look at these. See, I needed shape number five. I was too busy talking. All right, so now I've pulled all these out, so let's sew some pieces together, all right? And it's gonna be really easy, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay out my pieces. <laughs> Christina, why do we lay out our pieces? Oh, so you don't mess something up. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna mess it up otherwise, okay? So, and you want your trapezoids going the same direction, okay? Because otherwise they don't fit right, but we have specialized dog ears. So from here to here is a perfect quarter inch seam, okay? Gray. I'm really loving gray these days as a fabric color. All right. Hey, good news for you people living in the UK and Australia and Canada. Um, now we, you can ship from Amazon, is that right, Christina? Yes. So yes, you can definitely. check out what we have available in your country at Amazon. Okay, so now I'm just gonna chain piece. It's gonna go beautifully. Monica says her favorite pink thing is strawberry milkshakes. Oh, there you go. Love that. Um, Glenda says, what about Pink Floyd? Oh, there. Clever, <laughs> so clever. There you go. Joe, what's your favorite pink thing? Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Bubble gum. Oh, when I was a kid, man, that was awesome. All right, don't forget to share. We're giving away one of our Go Flamingo dies to one lucky viewer. Share on your Facebook page for a chance to win. Okay, what else are people liking that's pink? Let's see. Um, Gail said that her daughter had pink flamingo wallpaper when she was in high school. Okay. So now she needs to make her a flamingo quilt. I'd agree. I'd agree. Today's the day to get them. <laughs> it's a her in our world. Yes. She has a super cute name. Oh, I keep almost saying her name. I know. We had to, we had to really swear some people to secrecy. Yes. We'll tell you at the end. It's we'll coming. tell you at the end. Hang on. Okay. So now look, I chain piece those. Okay. And now I'm going to iron them. Ah, da, 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 da. I have one of these little shovel irons by my sewing machine. It makes it so much easier. I still need to get one. You do. I always use my giant, <laughs> my giant one Your for like one? the tiniest things. For those tiny little things. Okay, so I'm going to press my seams open. Hey, quilters, Christina's going to tell you about our blog. What do we love about our blog? Yeah, so our blog is a place where our go-getters write, and those are our, like, influencers. They write patterns for us, tutorials. They make these beautiful lists of, like, sewing tips or things like that. Just really fun stuff. It's the best. And they have patterns that are only available on the blog. Yep, you're right. Right, yep, which so I learned about just not too long ago. Yes, so there's tutorials on there for specific okay. patterns, things like that. I love it. It's the best. Okay, originally I'm just gonna tell you to press your seams open, but now I'm gonna tell you to press to the gray. Cause it just is gonna lay flat. Okay. Ooh, Terry says, what about a pink daiquiri? Oh, there. They're speaking my language. Carol says pink carnations and pink peonies. Oh, I love Ooh, pink peonies. Did you have a whole pink. bunch this summer? I did. They're kind of like a this, dark pink. So pretty. Like a dark pink, almost purple. I've never seen that color before. I was very surprised when they bloomed. Yeah, you're in a new house, so you have all these <laughs> things that are like, oh, that blooms now. Yes, the previous owners planted so many things that I don't know how to take care of, but just grow on their own. Just happy to be there. <laughs> okay, so look, I cut, I don't know, 87 half square triangles, but I only needed four, so I'm going to take them right here. I have found when I use the four inch cube, I really have to keep track of my pieces because they are bitty. Oh, we've got a great question from Glenda. Hi, Glenda. She says, can you use a companion set only to make a block? Yes. You can? Yes. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. But it's going to really limit you yeah. to what you can make. Yeah, it works so a lot better so when you So with both. the original cube, you can make 72 mix and match patterns. Then you add the companion set corner, you can make 144. And then at angles, you're going to make 216. If you try to use the companions by themselves, you're going to make like 10 patterns. So you want to make sure you have the original cube and the companion sets to go with them. That's a great question, though. OK. 
hey, look, we're just making tiny little trapezoid pieces. Okay. I'm loving this project. Okay, we have a joke from Carol. We have a joke? Yep, she says it's a joke for Pam. Okay, wait, wait, Oakley. I gotta stop sewing if there's a joke. <laughs> okay. Okay, go for it. What did the mama flamingo say to her naughty little flamingo? Oh, Joe is the dad joke guy. Do you know the answer, Joe? Okay, what did she say? She said, don't make me put my foot down. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you for that, Carol. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay. So I'm just pressing my pieces, laying them down. Okay, and then I'm going to show you how to lay it out, and then we're going to cut some flamingos, because that's why we're here today. That's why I wore the flamingo shirt. It's not just pretty, it's, just, it's functional. Okay. I had to dig pretty deep in my closet to find a pink shirt for today. Did you? <laughs> yeah. It was fun. We got some really good use out of our flamingos. Okay, so now watch this. I'm going to get rid of all the stuff and things here. Okay, you ready? So now we're going to follow the block and we're going to put, I'm so surprised Taylor hasn't called today. <laughs> We've he knows we, changed you're busy. The, we changed the Hulu password. He called me three times yesterday for it. <laughs> The other day, my parents were trying to log into our Netflix account, but they kept clicking the portion that says sign up for account. Oh. So they just kept getting <laughs> yes. an error. It was great. Okay, so look at this. Okay. And you can totally make it your own like I did. Okay. In fact, let's do that. Okay. Oh, I'm loving this. This was such a fast quilt. You truly could make it in an hour, okay? I know I haven't yet, but you could. Okay, so you're gonna sew your rows together and you're gonna press to one direction and press the other, okay, which has nothing to do with a musical group. But that way they all nest, I'll all right? admit that's the first thing that just came to my mind. I knew it would, <laughs> I knew it would. All right, and then, okay, remember our five and a half inch strips that we cut with our strip die, okay? You're gonna add rectangles to create the mini quilt. So you would sub cut with your rotary cutter. It's the only time I'm gonna allow you to use it. Uh, five and a half by eight and a half inch strips, and then five and a half by 18 and a half. And so isn't that cool? Because they're already cut out for you with that five and a half inch strip die. That's so handy. Okay, so join Lynn and Eric and I on Tuesday, June 29th at 12 noon Central Time as we talk about how to mix and match your cubes. Register, why are they gonna register? Because that's how you win. Win stuff. That's how we do it. All right, let's cut some flamingos. Now, you can always cut six layers of quilting cotton, but here, let's talk about the die, I guess. Gee. I forget people <laughs> haven't seen it yet. Okay, here's our cute little flamingo die. Christina, imagine trying to cut that by hand. No way. Never. I'd, I'd never. never do it. Never, ever. So it has the flamingo skinny little legs. Here's the wing, and here's his beak and his eye. It's her eye, okay? So what I've done is um, you can cut six layers, but I need two of each color, okay? So I pre-fused my fabric. Now I don't have to worry about lengthwise grain. Why? Because it's stable, okay? And the flamingos are facing each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut two flamingos with the fabric facing up and two flamingos with the fabric facing down. Okay, so it's a little tricky, watch this. Okay, I'm gonna cut my flamingo shapes first that are going up and then look. Okay, I'm gonna put, oh, I'm gonna cut this down. This is so much cute fabric. Okay, all right. Now, I'm gonna put the pink wing on the blue flamingo and the blue wing on the pink flamingo. So I'm just gonna cover all the shapes, okay? And everything's gonna face up. And then I'm gonna get a mat, which is what I think I dropped. Hang on here. Ah, uh, we had a mat. We did. 
I know we did, because I used it. I just need a five by 10 mat. <laughs> Can you grab me one, Chelsea? Thank you, sweetie. I think that's what fell. Oh, here, wait. Yes, it's what fell. Ta-da. <laughs> okay. All right, so here we go. All right, so again, all this fabric is facing up. I'm so excited about this. Ooh, great question from Jenny. Yes. She says, when you add the stabilizer, is it considered a row of fabric for the six layers? Half a layer of fabric. Yes. So you can do four layers of prefuse. Great question. That was a great question. Okay, so here's, oh, don't lose the eye. I'm forever losing the eye. <laughs> okay, so see, look, here's the beak. Oh, I needed two of them. It's okay. Watch this. Okay, now I have this cute little project to show you here in just a second. Okay, now I need one more facing up and then I need two facing down. I know, I can figure this out. There's a die for all of this. Okay, and then now I'm gonna face these down. Okay, don't stress. I can only cut four. So I have to come back and cut in, okay? There we go. Run him through. All right. Now, quilters, once I've cut all my flamingos, you have lots of ways to attach them to your project. You can either use the embroidery file, which is free, available at AccuQuilt.com. has three stitches. Christina, what are they? Uh, blanket, satin, and motif. Yes, good ah. job. That has a $25 or $21 value, okay? So let me show you what those look like. Here, hold on, I'm almost done cutting flamingos. Oh, they're so cute. Stinking cute. Okay, so look. Joe's gonna, Joe's gonna say bad words here in a second if I don't show these right. <laughs> he doesn't, he's super nice. He doesn't say bad words to me at all, even though I do stuff like that. Look. How cute that is. Can I pull them over? Can you see them? See? Look, Look at, at that. that. It's so cute. Okay. And here's a sample. I'm going to show you this cute project here in a second. So let's get a sample of this. This is one of my favorite ones. This is the motif stitch. So this is one of those free embroidery downloads. You want me to hold it up, Chelsea? Okay. This is one of those free embroidery downloads. Okay. And then... Our good friends at V-Stitch have some for purchase embroidery files. Look at this one, Christina. I love it. It has a little heart. I love it so much. Look how cute that is. And I love the little, like, the little loops around, so it looks yes. kind of like little feathers. Little it looks fluffy. like feathers. So fun. Now, no embroidery machine, no worries. You can use a decorative stitch from your machine or do Raj quilting. Mm -hmm. And ta-da, just like that. Had you, thank you. Had you not talked, you would have had an entire mini quilt top finished. Okay, now here's what I want you to do, quilters. Think outside the box when it comes to flamingo projects. You can use our dies to cut fabric, paper, cardstock, cork, craft foam. I'm gonna tell you to cut only one of these thicker layers. Now look at this. Mike's granddaughter, Lily, made this. Look at how cute this oh, is, Christina. I love that. This was her first trip to the fabric store. I felt like you and I should have gone with her. Oh. <laughs> we could have spent way more of Mike's money. That's true. That's, I mean, that just That is very think. true. Okay, so look, it has feathers and it's shiny. Good job, Lily. I love that. Good job, Lily. She's out playing sand volleyball today, so win big, all right? Remember, quilters, all of our AccuQuilt Live videos live on our Facebook and YouTube channels. If you need to go back and watch, you can. And that's all of our events, right? They're yes. all there. Okay, Christina, tell us what the promo is one last time. Okay, so things are already on sale on the website. Yes. So many things, just about everything. So when you use pink 10, you take an extra 10% off. Okay. So that's up to 41% off of dyes, cubes, accessories, and so up to 32% off cutters. That's so great. And, and then it ships free if you're in the contiguous U.S. All the things ship free to the contiguous U.S. Yep. No order minimum, no code for that one. You yep. just, it just happens. So lots of things on sale. Use that pink 10 code to get additional discounts. Only good till midnight tonight, central Correct. time. Yep, Your the AccuQuilt days will continue on for the week, but today's the only day you get that extra little 10% off, that yeah. extra boost. 
So get it today and then um, use that code. Okay, so look at these. I'm giving these to Aries oh after gosh, the show. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see those. Aren't those so cute? <laughs> uh, my grandson Aries is nine months old and he loves things to chew on. So look at those. I okay, love those that. are cute. All right, so today, before we announce the winner of today's Go Flamingo Dive, because you shared, all right, Christina, shall we announce the name and give a huge bragging rights to the person who named her? Yes, I'm, I'm very so, ready. I've been waiting for this for months, okay? Now, as most of you know, we at AccuQuilt adopted a flamingo from the Henry Dory Lee Zoo. If you come to Omaha, don't come this week. The College World Series is here. Mm -hmm. nope. Unless you want to come and watch baseball, and then come. But then come watch the, go to the Henry Dory Lee Zoo. Now, it's part of an ongoing effort to maintain healthy flocks of flamingos around the world. And AccuQuilt was thrilled to be a part of this conservation program. So, without further ado, drum roll, please. Congratulations to Kathy Romans. She wanted to name our flamingo Lulu, and we love it. Yay, All right. Lulu. Now, Kathy needs to reach out to us, yes? Yes, we'll reach out to her, or we'll try to from her original comment from a yes. few months ago. Otherwise, if you're watching, Kathy, please reach out. Please reach out, because yes. here's what you get today. You get our stuffed flamingo Lulu from the zoo. We're going to throw in a pair of beautiful <laughs> Flamingo glasses, and Aries is happy to give up one of his little toys. And we're gonna put it all in a pink bag right here. And we're gonna ship you a free flamingo dye. Yep. All sorts of fun things. Thank you, Kathy, for naming our flamingo. We have had such a and great time. And you get time. bragging rights to say that you've named a flamingo at the zoo. Forever. It's the best. Forever. Yep. So, all right, Christina, do we have a winner of our flamingo dive? Yes, we sure do. Drum roll, please. All right, so our winner from sharing today was Gwen Eckold. Gwen, Eckland. thanks for sharing today. All right, next week there will not be as much pink. But join me as we talk about cube companion sets. You know, we talk about cubes all the time, but we're gonna talk about companion sets and how they work. It is gonna be a great show. So on behalf of our entire AccuQuilt team, we have Leslie off-site, we have Morgan off-site, we have Nick upstairs. Here in the Dream Studio, we have Mike and Justin and Joe. It is Chelsea's last AccuQuilt Live. She is leaving our team to go do some amazing things. So thanks to Chelsea for all of her hard work. Yeah. My good friend Christine is in the house. I'm Pam Heller reminding you that at AccuQuote, we help you cut time so you can quote more. Have a great day.